A butterfly gracefully flutters ahead, its wings decorated with beautiful designs and colours. It lands on a delicate flower head, eating nectar and getting a much needed rest. Are you going to need a canvas? I don't have one, I only have a canvas board so that's what I'm going to be using. Feel free to choose whichever you want. Now this step is optional, you can use the surface of your existing canvas board or you can print out some images and cut those up and use those. You can stain it with some tea or coffee which I'm going to be doing but I am adding a little bit of texture to the board and it's going to be sort of like a mixed media project and so I found this in my stash. I think it's some leftover tablecloth kind of thing but what I like is that it's got some faded patterns on there. The camera is picking it up, there you go. And I think that those might come out really nicely when I put the tea bag on top. I am hoping that it comes out how I imagine. So what I'm going to do is use my glue stick to stick this down and cut it to size. I'm just going to use my hot glue because I've got a little bit of trim here, a little extra excess, so I'm going to stick that down just like this. Okay, so this is my board all done. I'm ready to stain it now. Unfortunately, it's not really picking up that well on the camera. You can see some of the patterns there in the background and it is textured like material as well. So it's kind of exciting. We'll see how it comes out. And in the meantime, my tea has had time to cool down. So that's great. It's working. I'm so happy. At least you'll be able to see the texture come through now. I really wanted something simple but effective and I'm so, so happy that this has worked out and I even found this because I didn't plan it. I also think it's nice to have some bits where the colour is darker and some bits where it's lighter. Whoops. And I'm going to go in a bit darker on the edges as well. It's probably a good idea to have two tea bags on hand because this one's starting to rip. I'm also allowing a little bit of the tea bag bits to come out basically, just like this in lines. I don't know, I feel like it will. Okay, that's too much. Let's get rid of some of that. Just adds a little bit to the texture and makes it look more interesting. Okay, I'm going to let this dry before moving on to the next part. So I'm going to stick this on top of my radiator or outside because it is sunny at the moment. And while that dries, let's clean some of this. Yes. Next we're going to do a little bit of recycling and we're going to make use of some of these paper shreddings. So you're going to take a bunch and we're going to make it into like a circle, kind of like a nest. And we're going to stick it in the centre. We're also going to mix in a bit of plant tie. And then once you have all of this, we're going to stick it together with some hot glue. And to finish this look, I'm going to take some butterfly stickers. These are actually wall stickers and what I like about them is that they're 3D and what beautiful colours they are. I love the gold specks on there and they come in different colours and sizes. 
So if you don't have a butterfly sticker, of course, just go and print one off the internet onto some card, cut it out, and then you can just stick it on. And what we're going to do is stick it in the center. And look at how it just makes the whole project come together. I'm going to leave off here, but I do have another suggestion and it's completely down to you if you do it. But I thought maybe you can add butterfly down here or up here. You can stamp it in, maybe write spring. You can even use some lettering. I've got some wooden lettering here and it would have gone nicely, but I don't know. I just really wanted to keep it simple and have the focus here. And so this is how the final project has come out. I'm so happy with it. I hope that this has inspired you just to know that you don't need lots of artist skills to create something. This is simple but effective. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and a comment and make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.